What's up, Basil Bay? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Baker. How you doing? Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Child, we just finished eating some snacks, some stuff we probably shouldn't be eating, but that's okay. We can have little treats. I would say everything in moderation. Now, we're eating like this every day, and you eating bad every day. That's not good, okay? You got to moderate, to moderate, you know? You can't have fried chicken tomorrow, yesterday, the day before, the next day, and the next, next day. No, if you have your little fried chicken treat, you know, you go to Popeye's on Tuesday, you get your discount chicken on Tuesdays. Okay, so if you did that like three times a month, okay and you doing pretty well on everything else look sis i'm about that moderation i'm not about trying to neglect my <clears throat> my taste bud needs no my needs need to be met <laughs> i'm just saying i like my fried chicken okay shoot sis but in the meantime you gotta stay tuned for my air fried chicken how I prepare my air fried chicken, but we're not talking about chicken today. We are talking about a cheat treat. And if you're going to the movies and you want a budget and you don't want to spend $99,000 on some movie theater popcorn, where they mark that stuff up like 1 million trillion percent, who paid for that? I'm not paying for that. Uh-uh. Child, you better make your movie theater popcorn yourself and you put it in plastic baggies. You know, two little sandwich size plastic baggies. That'll be enough for a movie theater. How often you go to the movies and you eat that big, large thing of popcorn that you know you could get refills on? Who's refilling that? Nobody. But then, you know, it's like, oh, you pay an extra 75 cents from to go from medium to the large, to the extra large. It's like an extra 50 cents. Oh, why not get the bigger one? Because it's just 50 cents more, 75 cents more. So they psych you out psychologically anyway, knowing you're not going to refill that big tub of popcorns. Hunty, two sandwich sized plastic baggies. It was enough for me and it was good. It tasted just like movie theater popcorn. And then I went to the dollar store and got me some raisinets. I like to eat my popcorn mixed with raisinets. I know somebody else likes to eat their popcorn mixed with junior mints, but whatever you like to mix it with, you go to the dollar store and you get your stuff before you go, okay? But you didn't hear this from me. Uh-uh, I ain't say that. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how I make my movie theater popcorn good. And if you want it for snacks throughout the week, it really keeps well if you put it in um, an airtight container. So I got my little pot right here. Not too, but it does the job. Y'all know I don't got no cute pots and pans, but you know, my food be tasting good, so it's gonna taste good anyway. And we keep popcorn in the house. I don't really be buying a whole bunch of snacks in the house, but the kids do like to make popcorn. Um, so we have popcorn. We're probably just gonna use maybe half a cup of this. Um, and you need some oil, whatever oil you have. And let me tell you, movie theater popcorn is not healthy for you anyway. But it's not like you going to the movies several times a week. If you go to the movies like once a month, twice a month, okay, have your little treat. Live a little. Anyway, this is what we what what we use. Good telling you, sis. What'd I say? What'd I say? What what'd I say? You make your own popcorn. And let me tell you, the bag of popcorn probably costs us a dollar twenty-nine. The oil, I will say the oil is a little investment. I think this was um three dollars or three twenty-five. But look, how, you don't even need a lot of this for it to be nice and good and have that buttery flavor. I'm gonna show you what we do and I have a lot of things going on in the kitchen so you're just gonna have to ignore them because I'm still trying to make my cauliflower rice Ooh. so I just took out the food processor and took out the cauliflower took out the broccoli and then I got to make my chicken and the air fryer Ooh. it's just a lot so let's just focus on this popcorn for now so I have more stuff to snack on like I need it I'm trying to meal prep for the week good so don't ask me about no measurements okay sometimes some things you gotta eyeball it okay Hold on, hold on, sis.
to movie theater popcorn. It tastes just like movie theater popcorn. You can add more of the movie theater butter if you want to, add more salt, add less. Um, my last batch, I added cayenne pepper. It was good. Tastes just like the movie theater popcorn. Look at that. This right here, this right here is probably 75 cents. Because the bag was like a dollar and change, the oil. Oh, good. Honey, you got it right here. Just like movie theater popcorn. All right, give this video a thumbs up. My camera is about to die. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and let me know if this is something that you'll do. Save your coin when you go to movie theater. Okay? Good. Good. Never again. Couple of baggies, done. All right, guys.